on incidents, but probably the worst incident? Well, yeah, I mean, um, I don't mean no uh, damage to the guy, but I have moved my head forward and you can't do that. It was just uh, just trying to push him away, really, with my head, and I shouldn't have done that. Um, but I apologise to everyone uh, concerned. But for me personally, I think that is a little bit of a wake-up call to sit down, and I will from now on and send John Carver out there. Oi, pardon you. I'll take it from here. Since I finished popping all that bubble wrap for you, it's time for you to let me take control of Crystal Palace. It's the FIFA 15 Crystal Palace career mode, boys. Hello, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little silly introduction here. But as you've probably already noticed, the team I am going to be doing my FIFA 15 career mode is with Crystal Palace. And now, you probably, if you've been subscribed for me for a while, you probably know I don't like doing bog standard career modes there has to be a little twist or a challenge to make this career mode have a bit more of a target or an aim the target with this one is basically i'm gonna accept the first international job i get offered as long as it's not a silly good team so a team maybe like ireland chile a team that perhaps hasn't won the world cup before that's probably the best way to 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 think about it and once I get accepted and once I am managing the international team my aim is to win the World Cup with that team now being that they're going to be a useless team I will have to do this by scouting young players from this country through the youth academy and signing any young prospect and playing them at my club to make sure their growth is as good as possible. Now, I'm not planning on staying at Crystal Palace for long. Um, Crystal Palace is sort of a low-league team I wanted to start off with so I could get back into the game, basically. I don't want to start off at a top team because I will uh, I'll, I'll get fired almost immediately, so there's no chance I'm going to be able to win most of the games. I'll start off pretty shit. I'll guarantee you that because I've, I, I am out, out of form with FIFA at the moment. So I'll start off pretty poorly. But then eventually, once I get into the swing of things, I want to move to a big team and make sure that the young players from the country I end up managing are developed well and at the best club in the world, hopefully. A club like maybe Real Madrid, Barcelona, a team like that, to ensure I can get the best youngsters through the academy from the right country, the country that I'm managing internationally, and making sure they reach their peak uh, and outgrow their potential, potentially. Um, but as you can see here, I'm going through the team. I'm going to start off with Crystal Palace with a 3-4-3, a sort of Bayern Munich style 3-4-3. Three, three. Two deep-lying playmakers in central midfield. I've got a, a left-back on the left left midfield side of things. I like to have defensive wide players. And uh, I'm looking through the players here, seeing what players I can get rid of. A lot of players out on loan. Um, a lot of good players out there as well on loan. Um, Barry Bannon, I was looking forward to playing with him. And of course, Williams, the Crystal Palace hopeful, the Crystal... Palace is probably biggest hot prospect at the club. Um, I'm looking at the players here. Because I'm playing one up front, Crystal Palace do have a lot of strikers. I decided to list a few. Murray being the first one. He scored at the weekend, I believe. Or he had a great game at the weekend, um, depending on when you watch this, depending on when this goes out. Um, so I decided to list him. I need to get rid of some strikers because I've got far off. I don't like having a big squad. On Football Manager, you have a lot smaller first team squads. On FIFA, it looks like you have a lot bigger of a squad. As you can see, the squad total is 40. If you had 40 in your first team on Football Manager, you'll be <laughs> you'll, you'll be struggling um, really badly. So I, I, I listed um, Murray there. Looking at this guy here, um, didn't want to get rid of any youngsters too early on, see how they'll do. Um, I can't expect signing too many players in the first season because the budget is very small, 7.5 million. Maybe just bringing a few players to come into the first team. Um, I'll get onto that in a minute. I will need your help suggesting some players for me, guys. Bear in mind the position I'm playing. It's the 3-4-3. Uh, three, three. And I seriously considered selling Punchy on here. Um, we've got a lot of right-sided players, uh, including Zaha. He's playing our sort of right forward role. And then we're looking for a sort of right midfielder role. Um, and I didn't think Punch Young could play that. It's sort of a, you sort of need defensive midfielder there. Rafinha plays there for Bayern Munich last time I watched them. So you sort of need a fullback there, an attacking fullback to play right mid, or a defensive right midfielder, someone with high high work rate or good defensive attributes. Uh, and you need preferably a lot of stamina and a lot of pace, and it did not really suit Jason Punch Young. I considered selling Brad Hangland as well, uh, getting on a bit. He's down, gonna 
probably be in his 60s at the end of the season, but I decided to keep him because we are short on centre-backs, considering playing three at the back. So we've got a lot of manoeuvring to do in the transfer window. As you can see there, Amiobi got listed. Um, a legend. I was, it, it hurt my heart to list Amiobi. He's one of my favourite players. I, I, I loved Newcastle when I was a, a, a young lad. Um, and Sholo Amiobi was the man, main man there, really. Um, when, when Alan Shearer came off for Amiobi, you know you had to go him in a bag. Um, so a lot of good memories with Alan Shearer and Amiobi there. Um, looking at the scouts here, this is where they get the, the challenge is really going to come in. It's about putting the scouts in the right countries and ensuring I get the most talent from each country. And If I manage, for example, Ireland, it's my go-to example. Um, it's about getting the good young players out of Shamrock Rovers, out of Bohemians, out of the teams like that, because they're probably not going to reach their potential at those clubs, and bringing them over to Crystal Palace or a bigger club if I move on, and ensuring they reach... Or outgrow their potential. That's that's the whole point of the challenge. It's all about making sure I develop the youth in the club side of things. And as you can see here, we've got an offer for Wayne Hennessy, a backup goalkeeper. He's quite a good goalkeeper, and I don't really see the point because I don't really see goalkeepers get injured much on FIFA. So I didn't see the point of having a good backup goalkeeper. If I did want a backup goalkeeper, I'd probably want one with a bit of potential. Someone that could actually grow in and eventually replace Spironi. Wayne Hennessy is not my man, I don't think. He, if Spironi retires, I'm not going to promote Hennessy. He's not good enough, in my opinion. And there you can see my agent, Juan Tolles, talking about the international management here. I sort of got excited for a moment. I thought I was going to be offered an international job straight away, but of course not. He was just letting me know how it all works. And we accepted a bit of 1.8 for uh, Wayne Hennessy. I just wanted him off the books. There's no point in wasting time negotiating over a couple of hundred thousand. Uh, we got 1.5 mil in the budget there, raising it up to 9 mil. And then we got an offer for Shola. This was going to hurt getting rid of this lad. Um, we accepted it straight away. Again, we're not going to squeeze much more out of them. Um, so I accepted it straight away. I'm not going to waste my time over 50 grand. And as you can see, we're simming through here as quickly as possible. Real Madrid managed to snap up Sergio Aguero from Manchester City. And Shola Amiobi secured his deal at Blackburn Rovers, which may upset a few Newcastle fans. Um, a bit of rivalry there, I think, between Newcastle and Blackburn. Uh, but they've got the... The parallel of Shearer. Shearer, a legend at both clubs. And Owen Garvan asked to play in the friendly matches... Um, and I gave him, I let him have a game. Uh, I simulated in the friendlies, or the first friendly. It's the only friendly you'll see in this game. I simulated it because I'm, it's, I'm in a football manager. I'm a sort of football manager player, and I don't give a shit about friendlies in football manager. Um, I know, I, I, I've already got my vision of what I want the team to look like. I don't need to muck about in the friendlies because I'm going to go ahead with it, even if I do poorly. It's the li lineup I want to do. And as you can see, we're playing Suare on the left. Punch you on the right there. See how he does in a simulated game. It probably means nothing because it, it, it's irrelevant. It's not going to play like how it would if I played the game. But there's a the team here. See who gets the good rating. See who gets to go. Zaha, Balassi and Gale up front. I'm looking forward to using Gale. And Suarez, the left back, playing left midfield, had a goal there. Um, which gave me hope. Made me think, oh, maybe he's got a few good attacking attributes to him. I don't know if that's how the simulating works. Um, but hopefully there's a bit of hope there. Um, but uh, as I was saying, um, I'm really tempted to, or excited to use Gal this season. And I was talking about earlier letting Puncheon go and needing a right midfielder, someone with good defensive attributes, uh, good stamina, or and a good attacking right back. And I looked at this guy, Sam Byram, um, really thinking he might be able to do that job there. He's got good stamina. He's uh, I think he's got high high work rates, which is ideal on that side of things. Because I need someone who can get back and. In get back up forward again. So he looks like a decent player, but I'm not sure how good he'll grow. I'm not trying to look on footed too much to see the potentials of this player because I want to go in sort of blind um, and treat it a bit more realistic. So Byram was an option there, but I decided I wanted to leave it up to you guys. If you've got any suggestions um, of players who could fit into this tactic, let me know. I could do with strengthening, strengthening everywhere, to be honest. All the players are in their mid-70s. We've got no standout players. Zaha, I think, has got a very high potential. Um, and I'm going through the squad report here, so you can have a look at the players to see if you think um, any areas need strengthening. Liu Chong Young there, he looks quite decent. That's on that right-hand side. His defensive attributes aren't brilliant, but he's got great stamina and uh, impressive work weight rate. 
wait, talking like Harry Rennap there. Um, Zaha and Alassane, he plays I'm looking forward to playing with. Dwight Gale, a player I'm really looking forward to playing with. He lacks a bit of height. Shamak as well, he's going to be someone you can whip across into. Hopefully I can restore Shamak to his former glory. Mariapa, a lot of good young uh, defenders here, or young, uh, pacey defenders here at Crystal Palace. Mariapi, I believe in real life you can play centre back, so hopefully you can do that on FIFA as well. But have a look there at the squad I've got. Let me know what positions you think need improving. Bearing in mind, I'm playing that 3 4 3 formation. A lot of good centre mids there. Make that note, make note of that. But again, we, we're sort of a lot of mediocre players. We haven't got any standout stars. We haven't got any great players. We haven't got re I've really got too many players with high potential, I don't think. Um, just a lot of mid-70s players, maybe a few who might reach 80 if they're lucky. So we do need, ideally, some good young players or some good old players who would join Crystal Palace for a low fee. I need your guys' suggestions because this is my first career mode I've ever done on FIFA for a long, long time. So I need your guys' some suggestions of some players I can sign. I'm not managing an international club yet, so we don't have to worry about the challenge yet. But leave a like, comment if you uh, enjoyed the video, and I will see you later. I'll see you later, boys. Bye-bye.